we recently found out that the CW decided to not move forward with a show that I think a lot of people would have been interested in. And if you look at what they were setting up, there was definitely some hints towards this. Because if you look at the rumors, some people were suggesting it was going to happen. And this was a Legion of Doom spin-off TV series. So details are still scarce on this. We barely got any info on it. But all we know is that it was confirmed by people that were actively working on the Arrowverse that there was multiple things in development before things start to fall off over the last couple of years. You know, at the height of its uh, inception, when it peaked like, what, four or five seasons into uh, Arrow and you had, of course, Flash and all these shows, there was a lot of talks of expanding it even further. And we know that a villain team-up was in some sort of discussion. Essentially, what we got confirmed is that after Crisis, they were looking at very much a Legion of Doom centric series where it would have united multiple villains from across the multiverse planning something all connected together on this now new one restored earth but for whatever reason things fell apart because of our logistics embargoes and things happening behind the scenes and that's unfortunate because um I think the villains on the CW side really stood out and a lot of times when you look back on multiple seasons, the things you think about are the great villains that they had on there and how they presented them. But I think at the same time, the further it got along, the worse it got because they kept repeating the same mistake and the same storyline. You know, how many times can the new person show up and then the new villain shows up and you're wondering, I wonder if it's the same one. Mm. And then, you know, episode 14 to 16, they're going to reveal it. Then there's the shock factor and at the end they defeat them rinse and repeat the same season. I think that probably put a little bit of a stop to it, but also the fact that everybody was starting to embargo everything everywhere all at once. It's sort of like the multiverse, I guess, film, right? Uh, like everybody was just kind of contributing to it and nothing happened. And this is when we saw a bunch of other projects going to limbo as well. Unfortunate that uh, it didn't happen, but hey, maybe now the new DCU can do it properly with a high budget.